Have you ever had that one co-worker you came to find out doesn't like you? or mess with you. This is the case of Marshawn Lynch and Russell Wilson. For those of you that don't know Marshawn Lynch, Marshawn Lynch is a former NFL running back that plays in the NFL that played in the NFL for 12 seasons. Uh, majority of his career he spent time with the Seattle Seahawks, which there he played with Russell Wilson. They then win a Super Bowl together. Russell Wilson is currently the quarterback for the Denver Broncos. He was a former teammate of Marshawn Lynch in at Seattle Seahawks. Marshawn Lynch, aka Bismo, went on Shannon Shy podcast Club Shay Shay and revealed that he didn't have Russell Wilson's phone number. Crazy as it sound, a former running back for the Seattle uh, Seahawks came to Club Shay Shay and revealed that he didn't have his quarterback's phone number. Let's look at this video and we'll come back for more on it. What happened with, 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 with Russ and Pete? Why did it, I mean, because it seemed like a match made in heaven. I mean, they spend, y'all spend big money. The Legion of Boom. From the Packers. Russ comes in. Uh, was, a third they were athlete. different. He wins the job. Matt Flynn never sees the field. It was it's perfect. Everything it seems like a match made in heaven. Right. And then we see the abruptness. Maybe Russ feels that Pete is holding him back because it was all about the Legion of Boom. Maybe Pete said, "Well, mm. there's some slippage, and we're not going to give you that massive contract." Mm. What, what to your from your expert opinion? You played in Seattle. You know Russ. You know Pete. What happened with that relationship? Man, you... <laughs> Look, man. I'm the laugh. I'm, I'm, I'm not the... I wouldn't be the, the, the right person to, to speak on their relationship because I didn't... Like, I didn't... I didn't fuck with them. Oof. You feel what I'm saying? So... You didn't mess with who? I didn't fuck with, with Pete. Uh -huh. And then I... Oof. You know, Russ was, like, just a quarterback for me. Right. You know what I mean? So it wasn't as... With you that. didn't have no relation. You didn't have no kind of a relationship, y'all. Okay, so I see why a lot of people might get and take that in a kind of like a bitterness and everything. But he's just practically saying he's just a coworker to me. You know, we got there, we get paid to do what we have to do, and that's it. I don't have to be your friend. I can work with you, but I don't have to be your friend. I understand that. A lot of people will not take that and uh, understand that at all. But I, I genuinely think that's the right move. Y'all didn't like go to a go go to a party. Y'all didn't get together. Y'all didn't do any. Y'all didn't kick it like that. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, yo, the silence in that was loud. That facial expression is just insane. Just take a look at that. Whoa. Even Seven. I mean, Seven would come to the room. Club Shay, you know, Club Shay Shay started in like a training camp in Denver. John would come to the room. We drank beer. We play cards. We roll dice. The guys play video game. We laugh and shoot the ish. We had that type of relationship with him. Well, I mean, Y'all. So the thing is, I mean, you know, Things you go, there's nothing. I, I like I I respect Russell as you know, feel me as a player and as a team. There you go. See? And uh, you know, anything that I say, you feel me, because of the situation, you know, throwing the pick on the goal line, not giving me the ball, this, then the third. Yep. Yep. You know, leaving from Seattle, you know, going over to Denver. Anything that I say is gonna come off as, you know, malice or as if I'm, you know, a hater or right. that is true. I mean, you know what? I you know, I I I'll take Russ. And I put him right there at quarterback, and I rock with him right. because I have done that. Right. But I mean, you know, as far as anything else, it's like it, there's y'all no, didn't have a relationship outside of football. No, nah, there, there you no, go. I mean, it, can't right. pick up the phone and and and, and call old right. boy or nothing. See, that's what I. That's where I'm getting from this. It's just like we're just teammates, we're just coworkers, and just get to work, and that's it. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people might look at it and frown upon it, but I see it as nothing wrong with it. And honestly, I am fine with that being it. Right. And then, I mean, you know... What do you mean you couldn't pick up the phone? I mean... I, you, I don't got a number. Oof. Oh. Oh, well, but you would. I mean, but if you... you know. uh, yeah, for sure. Right. Oof. For sure. I mean, you know, like I said, if you talk to any player that I play with, like, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if you're on a practice squad. You pick up the phone and you call me, you got something. There you go. You want to holler at me, then I'm 
I'm, what's up? Yeah. But I had a situation, uh, you know, we was we was playing uh, mm. against Tennessee and they had, you know what I mean, they they secondary wasn't, they wasn't, uh, they wasn't, you know, they wasn't good. Mm. They were supposed to throw the ball for 500 yards or some shit like that. And, you know, uh, he didn't have a game, Russ didn't have a game that he wanted. And so, man, you know, after the game, I, I did pretty good. You feel me? Two tugs, 150 rushing, another 50 receiving. So after the game, you know, just all of the hype building up, you're supposed to do this and we're going to have it. It didn't work out that way. So, mm. man, uh, you know, I reached out to our prayer personnel, dude, and I, like, hey, man, uh, let me get Russ's number. Uh, call him, you know, holler at him. Like, I'll call you back. So then, you know, he called me back like, hey, did you, you know, you get a call? I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. Like, no, nah, Russ just said he called you. I'm like, that's no, bad. Him, like, number. <laughs> he like, oh, that's him. I'm like, Ooh. Uh, he blocked his number. <laughs> I don't know if he blocked it or if, I don't know how it went. I just know it, it got a call from a block number. So when mm. I, you know, I called That'll do it. And I'm just like, hey, bro, you know, I ain't calling you as no, uh, you know, no, no, like no media shit. You know, no, no fan, no stalker, none, bro. This is me. I'm a shit. teammate. Like, you know, I'm calling you. I'm telling you straight up. Like, I'm calling you on some some real nigga shit. Like, you know what I mean, I think this is one of the. I think this is the first time that I actually like, you know, tried to have a conversation with. But so I'm like, yeah, you know, feel me? I know you didn't have a game that you wanted to have. I'm like, but look, check it out, nigga. That's what that's what I'm here for. And I, there you go. And if you know the shoe on the other foot, I expect. You know what I mean? You to be there for me. For it to be the same way. Right. There you go. See, this is why I think Marshawn Lynch is one of the realest person ever because honestly, he will go far and beyond for you as long as he knows like, hey, if things go south for me too, I hope you're there. Like he's telling like everybody, you can pick up a phone, call him anytime and stuff like that. It's just, it's just one of the most realest and down the heart down to earth guy you ever meet and i honestly think that's true like nigga we gotta you know what i mean i i'm here for you you here for me you feel me you there you go. go and we go like and his response to me kind of like was like the fuck what you so i told him again like nah bro like you know i'm letting you know like yeah nigga, i'm here for you like nigga we gonna rock you, you know what i mean and as the was saying, so I kind of. So what exactly was his response? What did he? We ain't gonna get in all that. Man. Ooh, like, yeah, Shannon, you can't get in that. Considering you know that you, you reached mean, out, that we on the same team, going for the same goal, and you know what I mean, this was how you chose to respond to me. It was more so like maybe you don't understand what I'm saying, but at this point in time, when you talk about Club Shay Shay, I got the whole house full of. Everybody. Right. You know what I mean? I'm talking about... All right. Like, if you want to see more of it, I'm sure there's more. And go check out Club Shay Shay and Shani Shap and podcast. But honestly, that says a whole lot about it. Um, yes, Shani shouldn't try to push that and try to get him to say what they say in private with each other. Just that's doing the most. But just to say... He was just being a teammate and just trying to tell him, hey, I have your back. I have, I, you know, you can't, don't worry about it. You know, things will be all right. If, if anything goes wrong with you, that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm your running back. You know, that's why they call me beast mode. But the fact that the way Russell, you know, take it like that is not good. There's a lot more on the podcast I went on and say it's like where a Marshawn called apparently call another QB and ask him and the guy was telling him hey you know you know that's just how QBs are and everything like that I understand but even Marshawn was like yo you're a QB but you're not you're not even like that either so I I get it there's both sides to the story hopefully we get to hear Russell's side but when when he, that man was like silent and looking Shannon dead in the eye you know that he was very serious about it but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video guys if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe greatly appreciate it. subscribe pretty much that would greatly appreciate it I'll see you guys later peace out